Hey there, and welcome back to your end of week show for all things gaming news. I'm your host, Lucky TZP, and this is GNN. So first on the list, it seems like in an unlikely crossover, Barbie and Nintendo are collaborating in the form of these Barbie fashion packs. So basically it's outfits for Barbie that are Mario themed. This collaboration kind of came out of left field, but it's good to see Nintendo actually branching out with different companies and trying new things. I don't think they've ever done something like this before. I think my favorite one is the... <laughs> I think it's the this one, the one with the Marios all over the dress. That's kind of rad. Next up, it seems that Sonic the Hedgehog's getting a brand new animated series, this time headed for Netflix. Now the tweet was immediately deleted after it was uploaded. It was probably a mistake. It probably wasn't meant to go up yet. But basically we have a bunch of screen grabs of it, and it seems like it's going to be a brand new 3D animated series. Made by the people who make Ben 10, out of all things. I don't know why Sega loves 3D animation so much. I think I'd rather see a 2D animated show, maybe in the style of Sonic CD. I think that would be super cool, but we're just going to have to see what comes of this. Speaking of streaming services, it seems like Funimation is making an app for the Switch. Now, I remember them talking about it early last year, but it seems like it's either going to come out pretty soon or it's pretty heavy in development. They posted this teaser on Twitter showing the Switch basically saying that they're looking at it. It blows my mind that after four years of the Switch being a thing, that there's only one streaming service available on it being Hulu. I mean, it's about time someone else jumps in there. And for the final segment today, we're going to go over the Game Awards. Now, the show was over three hours long, so I'm not going to cover everything, but here are a few of my favorite things. Right off the bat, the Game Awards kicked off with a Smash reveal, and I don't think anybody saw it coming, not even freaking the best of the best predictors, because we got Sephiroth from Final Fantasy VII. Yet another anime swords fighter! But, I mean, completely different. He looks super cool. I'm super hyped for him. I think he's gonna be sick. <laughs> his range looks insane, considering his sword is massive. This is also, like, one of the most dramatic Smash character reveals I think they've ever done. It's super well animated. Also, Mario freaking dies. The new Dragon Age just showed off a little bit more, and it looks really good. I like all the environments they built for it. It was all pre-rendered, no gameplay footage, but it still looks really cool. I'm into it. Microsoft revealed that they're working on a new Perfect Dark game. I honestly didn't know what it was until we saw the logo, but it looks interesting. We didn't get any gameplay, and from what I can tell, everything is super dramatic, which isn't really Perfect Dark's thing, but I hope it's good. I hope it's good. Please be good. Among Us showed off a brand new map coming to the game called the Airship. There's new tasks, there's new sabotage methods. You get to choose which room you start in, which is kind of interesting. I kind of want to know how that's going to change the gameplay experience. Can't wait to do the trash in a video game now. That's a pretty sick execution. There's new executions too, which I'm pretty excited about. So Master Chief is coming to Fortnite. Uh, <laughs> I think we kind of already knew about this, but it was definitely confirmed here. It's actually incredible because they're doing like a bounty hunter thing. So now we have Kratos, we have Master Chief. A lot of people expected Samus. I don't think that's going to happen, but who knows? Anything's possible. They also did a red versus blue sketch in Fortnite, which I think is actually kind of rad. I mean, <laughs> Red vs. Blue is this classic internet show, like, filmed in-game, and I think they did an excellent job kind of, like, recreating it here. I know one of my friends loves Red vs. Blue. Not only that, but Blood Gulch is coming to Fortnite 2 as a map. That's super hype. Turtle Rock Studios announced a new game called Back for Blood, which is just essentially a spiritual successor to Left 4 Dead. It looks really fun. Me and my friends were actually just playing Left 4 Dead a few days ago. So seeing something like this come out is super hype. I mean, look at it. It even uses the 4. And the final reveal of the night was super awesome. Bioware announced that they're working on a brand new game. Not just any game, though. They're working on a brand new Mass Effect. I feel like after Andromeda, this is needed. They need to reboot the series. So it's super exciting to see. I just hope that it runs better than Andromeda. <laughs> and to end the show as always, guys, we have the games that released this week. Poyo Poyo Tetris 2. And Cyberpunk 2077. 
And that's going to do it for your weekly dose of gaming news, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And now that you're all caught up, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you guys next Sunday.